In particle physics, tracking is the process of reconstructing the trajectory or track of electrically charged particles in a particle detector known as a tracker. The particles entering such a tracker leave a precise record of their passage through the device, by interaction with suitably constructed components and materials. The presence of a calibrated magnetic field, in all or part of the tracker, allows the local momentum of the charged particle to be directly determined from the reconstructed local curvature of the trajectory for known or assumed electric charge of the particle. Generally, track reconstruction is divided in two stages. First, track finding needs to be performed where a cluster of detector hits believed to originate from the same track are grouped together. Second, a track fitting is performed. Track fitting is the procedure of mathematically fitting a curve to the found hits, and from this fit, the momentum is obtained. Identification and reconstruction of trajectories from the digitized output of a modern tracker can, in the simplest cases, in the absence of a magnetic field and absorbing, scattering material, be achieved via straight line segment fits. A simple helical model, to determine momentum in the presence of a magnetic field, might be sufficient in less simple cases, through to a complete e Kalman filter process, to provide a detailed reconstructed local model throughout the complete track in the most complex cases. This reconstruction of trajectory plus momentum allows projection to, through other detectors, which measure other important properties of the particle such as energy or particle type calorimeter, Cherenkov detector. These reconstructed charged particles can be used to identify and reconstruct secondary decays, including those arising from unseen neutral particles, as can be done for B-tagging in experiments like CDF or at the LHC, and to fully reconstruct events as in many current particle physics experiments, such as ATLAS, BABAR, Bell and CMS. In particle physics there have been many devices used for tracking. These include cloud chambers 1920 to 1950, nuclear emulsion plates 1937, bubble chambers 1952, spark chambers 1954, multi-wire proportional chambers 1968 and drift chambers 1971, including time projection chambers 1974. With the advent of semiconductors plus modern photolithography, solid state trackers, also called silicon trackers 1980, are used in experiments requiring compact, high precision, fast readout tracking, for example, close to the primary interaction point in a collider like the LHC. 